To the development of artificial intelligence, I spoke to Dong Shongyang of the Chinese Academy of Engineering. He's also the co-founder and chairman of Vimicro Corporation. I began by asking where China stands globally in progress on AI development. China for many years has invested in the AI uh, sector uh, for research and development. Like, as a deep learning artificial intelligence, very useful in relation, you know, uh, facial recognition and uh, uh, other fields and so on. Uh, man, many uh, companies are also investing and doing business in this sector. China, I think, um, even it's behind U.S. in terms of research and uh, proliferation of uh, AI, but uh, uh, in general, China is very um, much focused in developing this new technology. And in terms of the industries which are really leading the way in using AI, what are some of the key sectors in China? Key sectors are mostly voice uh, recognition. Uh, you know, the banks were the telecom service company providing unmanned uh, voice services uh, to, uh, you know, banking, financial, or other service companies are working on that. There are also, other companies, uh, you know, facial recognition or recognition, and they can be uh, useful for surveillance or for um, to getting, uh, uh, you know, financial uh, sectors uh, um, more, uh, personal specific services so the if they can recognize the customer and then they can provide a more specific services to the customer so that's a very uh, important application of AI in those uh, sectors and it can certainly lead to even broader application once we get a lot more of this big data um, now we know that China has recently announced it's going to have an, an AI alliance with a few companies and think tanks what do you think of that move that partnership I think AI in general is uh, uh, going to be the future technology for all information processing and uh, transmitting and communication and so on. So working together on the global platform, uh, partnering with uh, some technology uh, uh, giants are a good way to go to uh, work together to solve some of the this text. That some people are, are somewhat skeptical or, or kind of concerned about where the future of AI can take us and what that could mean for, for labor markets. So for workers who may be concerned about how they fit into this picture now as a lot of these companies want to take on this AI, what are some of the concerns you think they have and, and what could be done about them? Well, yesterday um, we, uh, we have a conference here. It's called uh, the Third Global Ground Challenge Summit. And in this uh, uh, summit, AI and AI's uh, future uh, become a very hot topic. In my Kalo speech, I also addressed this uh, AI's uh, potential uh, displacement of uh, human workforce. Uh, arguably, uh, can be 50% for developed countries and 80% for the developing countries in this century. So uh, the ground challenge uh, uh, itself uh, for engineering, uh, for the AI uh, sector, it's, uh, there are 14 ground challenges. Uh, one of them is the AI. I believe it's uh, very grand in, uh, in terms of its scale. And uh, so people are very concerned about uh, such kind of landscape change for the employment market. Uh, for the both developed countries and developing countries. And I think that uh, as the engineers uh, are developing better technology, at the same, same time, we need to look into its social impact. And also, uh, for the future, we need to um, uh, concern about uh, uh, such kind of uh, 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 how this change will be dealt with uh, uh, different entities, including the public policy, law, international relations, or even humanity. So I think uh, the AI, not only it's a technology uh, issue, but also uh, it's a, uh, a much bigger uh, topic today uh, because it's going to influence the future of our societies and sustainability and even for all mankind.